Hello and uh, welcome to the Kubri training channel. Today we will be talking about uh, SQL body for uh, Kubrit. I'm going to introduce you uh, SQL body for Kubrit and then I'm going to show you briefly how it works and uh, how to use it to manage your um, Kubrit uh, databases. So uh, let's start. First of all, for those of you who never heard before about uh, SQL body, let's just take a quick look uh, and see what uh, what SQL body is, is all about. I have already opened in my browser the home page for, um, for SQL uh, body. So SQL body is, uh, is a web application for managing uh, MySQL. Uh, probably the most uh, well-known application, web application for managing MySQL is uh, PHP My Admin. So, uh, but uh, SQL body is a very good uh, alternative to PHP My Admin. Uh, SQL body has some very interesting uh, features. It uh, has a modern user interface. It's based on Ajax technology. It's uh, easy to install. It's uh, user friendly. These are just some of the reasons why we choose the SQL body to update, uh, to port it and make it work with Kubernetes. Uh, so let's see how uh, SQL body works with uh, with Kubernetes. Uh, I have already prepared on my computer an uniform server for Kubernetes uh, distribution which comes with uh, SQL body. I have already started the Kubernetes processes and the demo DB database. All you have to do right now is to start the, the server. So let's start it. By default, uh, the home page for this distribution is being um, open automatically. So as you can see, we have right here uh, Apache, we have PHP, uh, remember SQL body is being developed in, in PHP. We also have a Kubrid uh, uh, installation and of course uh, SQL body for Kubrid. So let's just start. On this computer I have the DemoDB database installed up and running. So let's log in. And here we are. This is the home page for, uh, for our application. We are not going today to each of the uh, features, each of the menus which uh, are available in SQL um, Body for Kubernetes. Um, we invite you to download the latest version and, and play and discover by yourself all the features which are implemented. Today we'll just do a quick tour through the main uh, functionalities uh, implemented. Um, but before uh, please notice that uh, we have uh, two main types of menus, menus on the left side of the page and menus on the, on the top of the page. As a general rule, the menus which are being displayed on the left side are related to features implemented uh, or which target um, database level operations and those uh, on top of the page are related to operations um, dealing uh, with, uh, with a specific table in the database. Here you can see a list of the databases which are being installed on this Kubernetes server. When you click on the database, you will get a list of all the tables in the database and a row count for um, each of the, of the table. You also get the list of uh, the tables on the on the right side with uh, these menus and also access to a list of functionalities from where you can immediately and easily create a new table in, in the database. When you click on a table, on the right side you get a data uh, browser which uh, from where you can see the, the records in the in the table. You can go from one page to uh, to other page. You can select uh, records. Clicking here you get a window where you can uh, easily see uh, the values for each uh, column in that uh, in that record. Also uh, clicking to select uh, some records you will uh, you will uh, you have access to to other functionalities uh, edit which uh, actually also allows you to to insert new data uh, in the table or delete let's click edit here we have uh, the currently selected uh, record uh, we have all the columns displayed the types for each column let's choose to insert uh, a new uh, row 
in the table. I'm going to change uh, only the code and submit. Automatically the data is being uh, uh, reloaded. We have additional record now in the nation table. Let's just click on the code to sort. One more time. And here is uh, our uh, uh, our record we have just uh, inserted in the database. What else do we have uh, from here? Let's go now to the uh, top uh, menu. So when you click on structure, here we can see the, the structure of, uh, of our table and we get access to uh, some functionalities. We can add a column, we can uh, rename our table, we can manage the indexes uh, in our table. Let's just quickly add a new column, newly column. Uh, type, uh, let's uh, keep small integer and uh, let's choose a default value, 2, and let's submit. And here we have our new column uh, inserted in the table. Look uh, to the left menu. Let's click the export. Using this functionality we can choose to export uh, all the data, all the tables which are uh, in our uh, database. I invite you to play with this functionality. We can export into formats, um, uh, comma separated values or uh, uh, plain uh, SQL uh, statements. Of course, once a file is prepared, it can, after that, be uh, imported back uh, in, in a database. Let's go to the query functionality. As I said before, here we can write uh, uh, manual queries. Let's uh, write a query and execute it. And here we get uh, the results of, uh, of our query. And now let's uh, click the users menu. Here we get access to information and we can do some managing operation with the users which are being defined in our database. In the demo DB we only have the, the DBA, the database administrator user, which um, we cannot uh, change by, uh, we cannot change the attribute. And we also have the, the public user. Let's select and click view. And here we get to see uh, the rights uh, of this user on various uh, objects in the database. Uh, in the next version of, uh, of, the, of the application, there will be some new functionalities implemented which will allow you to, to better manage the users and also to deal with, uh, with, other, uh, with other objects in, in the database. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, let's just uh, uh, log out. Yes, and when we are done with uh, our uh, uniform um, uh, server distribution, remember that uh, um, we need to, to to stop the servers using the server stop uh, uh, batch um, command file. Now let's get. Uh, uh, Back to the next point, so um, for, um, let's see where you can uh, download uh, uh, this application, where you can find more information and even support. And here if we go to uh, apps and tools, you will find here the, uh, the main page for um, many applications which, are, uh, which have been uh, updated to work with Kubelit, including uh, SQL uh, body. Remember to visit often because uh, new versions will be uh, will be released on uh, on regular uh, basis. We hope uh, you enjoy uh, these presentations. Remember uh, some other uh, presentations from the Kubelit training uh, channel will will follow soon. So uh, please come back to to our channel. Thank you very much for your attention.